Hey, how are you? So I ran across an article I'd like to share with you today. It's about couch potatoes and how they're more likely to die of COVID. You want to hear about that? You want to know why? Hang in there, because here we go. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again, and welcome back to the show. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, hope to find everybody safe, healthy, and in good spirits. And if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon. This way you know next time I come out with a video. I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody who's given a thumbs up. And if you would definitely give that today, I appreciate it. Don't forget the thumbs up. This always helps a lot. Appreciate it. So, yeah, I ran across this article, man, and um, it's crazy because with this COVID and stuff and everything that's going on, sometimes I don't like to talk about it, you know what I'm saying? Because I just kind of wanted to go away, want to forget about it. But when I came across this article, it was kind of a strange one. And it's kind of weird because it talks about this, how couch potatoes are more than twice as likely to die from COVID-19. Now, it's kind of crazy to find out all these things and, and I guess how to do all this research and checking things out and find out about it, you know? But yeah, it, it, and it's, again, it's a story that we I'm going to read to you and I'm going to share to you, share with you. You believe it, you don't believe it, you know? I mean, it, it, it's crazy, you know? Because you know what I always say, you know, don't believe anything you hear and only half of what you see. But this was kind of interesting. I like to share with you and, and, and I like to know what your thoughts are on it, you know? Um, if you think this is possible, if you think it's true, you think it's just another crap shit that's thrown out there to us just to like throw things off. You know what I'm saying? You hear so many different things. I don't know. So I'm going to read it to you and definitely leave in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. All right. Couch potatoes are more than twice as likely to die from COVID-19. Couch potatoes beware. Being sedentary. S-E-D-E-N-T-L-Y, T-A-R-Y, sedentary, more than doubles the risk of dying from COVID-19, according to a new research. A study on the effect of exercise on 48,440 patients diagnosed from January 1st and October 21st, 2020, concluded that inactivity was the third biggest risk factor for, se for severe illness, Worse than heart disease, diabetes, and smoking. All right? Wow. So let me just read that again. A study on the effect of exercise on 48,440 patients diagnosed from January 1st and October 21st, 2020, concluded that inactivity was the third biggest risk factor for severe illness. Worse than heart disease, diabetes, or smoking. Kind of crazy, right? The results published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine was found that coronavirus patients who were consistently inactive had 1.73 times greater odds of ICU admission than those who were const constantly active. The odds for death were even higher with, consist with consistency inactive patients 2.49 times more likely to die from COVID-19 compared with patients who are consistently active. So they're pretty much getting that over here that, you know, the more active you are, the less likely you are to catch the COVID. But we're going to talk about that in a minute too. This is a wake-up call for the importance of healthy lifestyles and especially physical activity, said Dr. Robert Salas, a physician at the Kaiser Permanente, 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 whatever, freak, Fontana Medical Center. Permanente Medical Center. Kaiser's motivation is to keep people's healthy. And this study truly shows how important that it is during the pandemic and beyond. People who regularly exercise had the best chance of beating COVID-19, while people who were inactive did much worse. The study led by researchers at Kaiser permanent Southern California also found that even patients who were inconsistently active had lower odds of becoming severely ill, suggesting that any amount of activity is beneficial. 
to reach to, to reach their conclusions, researchers gather data on how many days those studied engaged in moderate to strenuous exercise each week, and on average, how many minutes they engaged in exercise at that level. The subjects of which were 62% females and the medium age was 47, reflected the, diver the diverse racial mix-up of the Southern California population. Of the total, 6.4% were consistently active and 14.4% were consistently inactive, with the rest falling in a category of inconsistently active. Among all the patients, 8.6% were hospitalized, 2.4% were admitted to the ICU, and 1.6% died. Wow. What surprised me the most from this study was the strength of the association between inactivity and poor outcomes from COVID-19, said co-author Deborah Rahm Young, PhD of the Kaiser Permanent Southern California Department of Research and Evaluation. Even after we included var variables such as obsessity and smoking in the analysts, we still saw inactivity was strongly associated with much higher odds of hospitalization, ICU admission, and death compared with moderate physical activity or any activity at all, she added. Salas offered a simple prescription. Walk 30 minutes a day, five days a week at a moderate pace, and that will give you a tremendous protection effect against COVID-19. I continue to believe that exercise is medicine that everyone should take, especially in this era of COVID-19. So basically what they're saying here, through this, you know, test result, and again, this is all opinions on everybody, but they tested this activity, stay healthy, you know, not stay, stay, stay active, you know, get out there, walk around, you know, do some jumping jacks, whatever you got to do. The more activity you do is the less likely they're saying you have to catch COVID-19. But here's my catch on that. When COVID-19 came out, right, what did they say? Get inside, hide, don't get around people, don't do nothing, don't go to gyms or clothes, don't go here, don't go here, don't do that, don't walk your dog. So you actually cut out our activity. You know what I'm saying? You know, quarantine yourself. Well, when you're quarantined, you're sitting in a freaking house, laying down on the couch, eating. You're not getting no exercise, you know? Unless you're really into it and you want to do jumping jacks in your house, walk around the table 200 times or, you know, do flips in your, in your kitchen. You know, it's up to you. But So it, it, it's like a, a rock and a hard spot here. Yeah, definitely do your exercise. Do what you got to do because that's going to help prevent you from catching COVID. But don't go around nobody. Don't go outside. Wear a mask, you know. Um, quarantine yourself. Let's close the gyms, you know? So I don't know. Okay, so there's another story. What do you think? How do you feel about this? Now that things are opened up a little bit more, get out there, do what you got to do, stay healthy. I mean, the, the exercise is good for everybody. You know, if you can, some people just can't do it, you know? So what do they do? What, what are you discriminating against them? Because you can't freaking exercise now, you're going to keep COVID? I don't know. I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to feel about this. I, I don't know. You know, exercise is good no matter what. It's good to walk. It's good to get around. It's good to exercise. You know, let's let's not knock that. But is that really going to keep you from catching COVID? I mean, come on. If you're walking and exercising and somebody walks by you and coughs or spits and it goes in your mouth or in your eye, you got it. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's, it's, it's what you think. You know, what do you take out of this? You know, what do you want to do? You know, basically that. We got to live our life. Got to do what we got to do. But there you have it, couch potatoes. You have more likely to die of COVID than people exercise. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. Definitely give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. That helps. It really does with those thumbs up. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, do a little exercise. What can I tell you? Eat ice cream. I don't know. Do what you got to do. All right. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you. So long. I'm out of here. Thank you.